everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing so well thank you so much for clicking on this video i really hope you enjoy it i'm Maisie. for those of you who don't know i'm 25 i'm just trying to figure out how to live life in my 20s living in my mom's house <laughs> Today I'm going to bring to you an Amazon haul. I got stuck on the Amazon bandwagon and ended up with a load of things and I thought why not share it with you guys. I have a big selection of stuff. I have some home things, I have some skincare, I have a range of things to show you guys. So I'm going to start it off with some home things that I've been really enjoying at the moment. First thing being is the, these oven mitts which is so random. Honestly, these are so good. If you don't have these type of oven mitts, you need them. So I moved back to my mum's about a month ago after living with my boyfriend for the past year. I know it sounds wild, but it's just more practical with my job. I noticed there's a few things in the kitchen that I personally would really like, especially since living with Sam's family, there's been some items that I've really enjoyed and I thought I would purchase myself. One of them being oven mitts these ones are so good so they've got a silicone outer edge here and they're soft in the middle firstly i love that these go all the way up your arm so you've got so much protection like that's my elbow there and they're dishwasher friendly and machine friendly and they just prevent you from getting burnt at mum's we just had um some tea towels and the amount of times i've burnt myself in the past month is more than i burnt myself in the past year living with sam so these are a must, they are so good. I honestly couldn't recommend them more. You just wipe them clean as well if you get grease over them. They're so practical, so easy. You can also get like the tiny little ones that you just put over your fingers to grab trays. I quite like them as well, but I did only opt for these at the moment. Because this isn't my home, I don't want to consume too much stuff before I get my own place. So I've just got things that I think I really would like here that are handy. The second thing I bought, which seems completely random and totally unnecessary after I've just said that, is an ice cube tray. And this sounds really random, but I always have an iced coffee or I like to have, I really like to make posh, like non-alcoholic drinks. Um, and I like it to look aesthetically pleasing. I feel like I'm quite a creative person. So that's really, really satisfying to me. And randomly, at Christmas I bought Sam an ice cube tray which sounds totally random but you know what it's like buying for boys they're they are so hard to buy for and that was just like a little filler present and I bought him this diamond shaped silicone ice cube tray I personally probably use it way more than he would but I love it and I've been obsessed with it and then since I've come here the ice cube tray is like one of those old school rock hard ice cube trays that you have to bash on the side to get the ice cubes out it just makes so much mess and it's so annoying. So I was like, I need to get a silicone ice cube tray. I ended up buying these ones. When they arrived, it said skull ice cubes and I was very concerned that I had ordered skull ice cubes, but that's just the brand. And it was, it's really good. I'm really impressed with these. So in the box, there was two sphere ice cube trays so like this and they just create little balls which I really love and I've been using at the moment if you have me on Instagram I will link that below you can see that I've used this for a few things and it also come with square cubes um these ones which I only recently figured out these little cones just pop in there and they allow you to get the perfect sphere so I love that little little accessory that comes with that. But these cube ones I absolutely love as well. Very aesthetically pleasing. They've got a little silicone lid. Um, with the silicone, it's just so much easier because you can just pop them out and they fall straight out. But another reason I wanted these ones was because I've been saving all of my peelings and all of the odd bits of veg that you end up chucking away. And I'm gonna make some vegetable stock cubes and I can pop them in there and leave them in the freezer so then when I want to use them they're just there ready for me to use um, and I haven't wasted too much food so that's why I wanted those I try not to waste as much as much stuff as I can I'm not the best at it especially with food I forget what's in the fridge so I'm hoping by freezing them I will use up some of the excess veg that I have next kitchen thing I got is completely random I don't even know if anyone would ever buy this or needs to buy this, but it's a cheesecloth. 
for straining things. So if you watched the last video, I made homemade oat milk, which is absolutely delicious. So easy. I don't know why more of us don't do it, but I needed a cheesecloth to strain the oats. And it's so good. It honestly collects all of the oats, but actually gets the maximum amount of milk out of the project that you're trying to make. So I would definitely recommend it. They're really cheap. It came with three. Oh, fell out the bag. It came with three cloths and you can put them in a washing machine and they're absolutely fine. So that was the, sec the third thing that I'd invested in just so I could strain my oats. It's also really good if you make things like hash browns and you need to strain potato, you can use a cheesecloth. That will work really, really well. Uh Next thing I'm completely obsessed with, if you're into really aesthetic home kitchen things, you're gonna love these. I'm a straw gal. I love a straw with any drink any drink and I have been in love with these glass straws I keep seeing them and I had to get some completely unnecessary but I love them I'm way more environmentally friendly so it's all good um, they're from a link and you can use them with hot drinks and cold drinks so I really like that because in the winter you can have a hot coffee with a straw I don't know if anyone else does that but I do and it came with two the other ones in my room and it's also got this little cleaner so you can clean inside the straw which is very very satisfying let me show you so satisfying i wanted to buy some of those because like i said earlier i like to make really fancy drinks and i was going to try and capture some more of them because i think why not share some of the stuff that i make and I wanted some straws so it looked more aesthetically pleasing and it gives me so much satisfaction like making food or drinks for people is so satisfying to me I cannot wait to have my own house and I can just cook for people make them drinks I just that gives me so much joy so that's why I purchased those it brings out a bit of a creative side and um, I just love them I think they're so lovely good for the environment just a really good purchase i've used mine every single day since i bought it so it was definitely worth the money i'm gonna move on to some more beauty like products so something that i bought from amazon which i don't normally get off amazon was my number seven moisturizer i think i've mentioned in previous videos how obsessed i am with number seven I actually become obsessed with it because when I was little, my best mate Bex, her mum always used to use it. I thought she was so posh. And growing up, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm here for investing in skincare, especially because I suffered with such extreme acne. I'm really cautious about what's going on my skin and products I'm using. So I'm more than happy to invest. None of this is sponsored, by the way. These are just items that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, I normally use the number seven night cream and day cream. Personally, the night cream is my absolute favorite. It's so thick and moisturizing. It feels lovely on your skin. Your skin looks really plump after. I just really, really get on with it. Um, but I normally use the one in the blue pack. I think it's like restore and repair, whereas this one's pure retinol night repair cream with collagen. Um, it says it re reduces the appearance of fine line and wrinkles and hydrates the face and neck. Um, apparently it, it reduces wrinkles within two weeks. I am obsessed. This is this is the one that I don't I don't normally get this one. So it's just in a little purple pot. It was actually way cheaper to get it on Amazon, so that's why I purchased it from Amazon. It's so thick and so creamy. It's fragrance free. Just honestly, one of my favourite brands ever. Everything I use from Number Seven feels like a total luxury, and it, my skin just loves it. So I purchased that one from Amazon this time because the night cream has run out. I do tend to use that more than the day cream. I find the day cream a little bit thinner in the day. I actually prefer the facial oil that they have. Um, it just seems, my skin seems to like things that are a little bit richer. The second beauty product I went for, well, kind of beauty product. It was a vitamin. It was an omega-3 oil. Um, so it says to take two of these. These ones actually have vitamin d in as well which i think is really important especially in england where we are never sure on what weather we're gonna get i also work in a room where there's no natural daylight and it really really affects me so i thought the vitamin d was kind of essential for my well-being as well but i decided to take an omega-3 for my skin and my hair 
I am trying to grow my hair and my hair kind of normally gets a bit stumped at about this length and then it doesn't really go anywhere and then I get bored and chop it, off, chop it off. So I wanted to invest in some vitamins that would help enhance those areas on my body um, and just improve my overall health. I did subscribe to these through Amazon. I think that's so handy that you can just subscribe. It takes, it takes another thing off the list that you don't have to think about. Um, I've ordered them to come every three months, I believe. And yeah, being a, being, um, a fish oil, they don't smell at all. Um, I've used them for the past few days. I've had no issues in any way. They're just in a little, like a little orange tablet. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, I invested in those. And I also, they haven't arrived yet, but I have ordered some maca vitamins. The reason I ordered these, so you don't just listen, if, if you are gonna buy vitamins, I definitely check with your doctor before, um, taking anything but I ordered some maca vitamins because I personally as contraception have a coil and it's come to my end like the end date of when I need it removed by and I am gonna have a little bit of a break from hormonal contraception just so my body can do its thing I'm such an advocate for living a healthy and natural lifestyle I feel it kind of goes against a lot of my views so I'm gonna have a big break from hormonal contraception and I'm going to explore some other ways. The reason for taking the maca powder was it helps with estrogen levels and hormones. And I thought when my body's trying to adjust to not having added hormones in it, this may help and assist me recover a little bit better. So that's the reason that I invested in those vitamins as well. The next thing I decided to buy was a purple shampoo. It's by Max Blonde Enhance. So I don't have a full head of bleach in any way at the moment but I was actually looking for a sulfate free shampoo so a few months back I switched from Olaplex to Kerastase and I've just not been enjoying it I don't mind the conditioner but the shampoo my hair's feeling really dry and brittle after using it and I looked at the ingredients and there's sulfate in it I haven't used a sulfate shampoo on my hair for over a year and I just think it was really affecting my the condition of my hair so I switched to this one it smells absolutely amazing it just, it smells so good. Um, it says it's got keratin, purple fig, iris, and it's supposed to neutralize yellow tones. Um, ultra hydra hydrating and highly pigmented. It's really pigmented actually, because I used it in the shower and I literally got purple absolutely everywhere. I got it on my white jumper as well, which wasn't ideal, but it smells fantastic. Um, like I said, I don't have really bleached hair, but it does lose its like light tone after a while, because obviously toner doesn't last on your hair. So it's nice to have this just to keep on top of the color, but also just the condition of my hair is so much different when I've used this and it smells really, really good. For me, that's something that I want for my future self is just to smell good all of the time. Sam, my boyfriend, he smells incredible. Every time I see him, his hair smells good, his skin smells good, he just smells good. And I want that, I want to manifest that into my life. So I bought a shampoo that smells incredible. Um, it's the Blonde Enhanced Purple Toning Shampoo, sulfate free. Um, It says on the back, the more you use it, the more it'll enhance, like more of a whitey sort of tone. I've only used it once. I haven't put it on my hair extensions either. Um, but I, did, I, I just like the smell and I like the way it's made my hair feel. So it was a product I really, really enjoy. They have loads of different flavors and um, different scents and conditioners as well. I'd really check out this brand. It says OGX and it comes in a nice little bottle. I think that's posh. Another item that I was going to show you guys that I think you'll be really excited by is my essential oils. I love essential oils. I love them for natural healing. I love them for cleaning. I love them for just freshening things up. Honestly, I think everyone should have essential oils in their life. They're so strong with a scent as well. I just feel like it can change a room. So I invested in some from Laguna Moon. They're premium essential oils. They all smell incredible. I've got peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, orange, lemongrass, and tea tree. I love essential oils. I always pop a little bit of lavender under my pillow just to help me sleep. I use them in the salon when I'm grooming dogs. Another reason I bought these was 
to freshen up my bed sheets. So I'd much rather use an essential oil in a spray bottle watered down on my bed sheets than a fabric freshener. So that's why, that's why I actually originally bought these just to make my room smell really, really good and fresh. Um, with a natural product rather than the chemicals from a fabric softener. Um, I also love to use essential oils in the shower. So if you just do a, a few drops on the base of the shower before you get in and let it steam, it gives this really spa-like feel and it just makes your shower really like luxurious. I think eucalyptus or peppermint or tea tree in the shower smells really, really good or before bed, even a lavender. You can even use them in your bath as well. Um, just make sure they're watered down but I'm a big fan of essential oils mine had run out so I purchased some more just to keep things smelling really fresh using them in my salon and just keep oh one more thing I actually got was a tripod I will show you it's a really big one oh! this is like a proper tripod it's by hammer h-a-m-a -A. it's absolutely amazing such a good investment so i love this one because it has a level on it um if you can see here it has a little spirit level and it also has another level here so you can make sure it's obviously at a right height i love that it has a tilt it goes all the way over so you can like focus if you're like cooking food you can focus right on top of it it also has this little handle which i love which you can hire the stand with and then it also has clips at the bottom which you can adjust to make longer or smaller so this was the most amazing tripod ever I've always bought tripods but I end up with really rubbish rubbish ones that I end up just not using because they're not very stable so I thought it was actually time to invest in a decent one and this one has been incredible it comes with a little bag that you can pop on your shoulder it folds right down really tiny so these legs will go all the way in and it's only about this big um i cannot fault this tripod it's it's very good and it wasn't too extortionate either price wise i will link everything i've showed you guys below um, so you can have a little mooch on Amazon if you want. The very last thing that I purchased was a book. I buy so many books and have read them. Um, but I bought The Secret. So I don't know if anyone on here is into manifestation or meditation or any, any sort of like holistic healing. But The Secret is the most incredible book for manifestation and understanding how people have created their dream life through vibrations from themselves. I have personally watched the video from this and I've listened to the audiobook, but it's something that you can kind of come back to in different times of your life. And for me at the moment, I just feel like big change is about to happen. And I wanna make sure that I have real mental clarity and I know where I'm going with these next steps. So I've purchased the book, so I have it in physical form. I cannot wait to read it. It's full of so many insightful, like snippets of information that can really help you progress into a life that you really really want loads of professional people or or successful people do the routines that are suggested in this book um people such as einstein plato edison beethoven all of them do routines from this book so i just feel like it's such a magical thing to own i'm gonna read you the back so it says, as you learn the secret, you will come to know how you can have, be, or do anything you want. You will come to know who you really are. You will come to know the, know the true magnificence that awaits you in life. So that's just the introduction to the book. Um, I love this book. It has brought so much to me. I think when I was experiencing a really hard time in my life, listening to the secret audio, I wasn't too sure whether I believed in what they were suggesting, but I started putting things into place. And I don't mean putting things into place for one or two days and then just giving up on the thought. I consistently did things that they suggested through the audiobook daily for about two years. And my life slowly started to shift. And I think the more you do the exercises they suggest, the more things happen. So that's why I purchased it again, because each evening I'm probably going to sit down, just read a few pages 
and see if it can really help elevate where I'm going to be and where I want to be. Um, I feel like I've talked about this book a lot. Um, if you've read it, leave a comment, let me know. Let me know if you've had any success from it because that would be so nice to hear. I'm going to end this video here because my mouth is actually aching from talking. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, let me know if you purchase anything. I will link everything below like I said. And I will see you guys in the next video.